Hey guys, Spring in here on Morrow Hill, and we are getting started on a fairly decent size project today. Um, first, I'm gonna clean up around this coop area, and then I'm gonna get started on that bigger project. Um, and we are going to be demolishing the chicken run. Are y'all ready? All of this is coming down every single bit of it the chicken wire is garbage um the hailstorm partially demolished this uh the chickens partially demolished this in case y'all didn't know there's no there's nothing to chicken wire so we are going to work on cutting all of this wire off Oh, well, we might not even have to cut it. We'll just, oh, it's kind of, that's kind of rough on the hands though. I might need some gloves. Uh, taking all of this down is the project for today. And then we're gonna have multiple days of putting something brand new, something hopefully very predator proof uh, and something that will hold the chickens for the majority of the day until I'm ready to let them out to a uh, free range in the afternoons. I've got to do this in kind of a hurry because those chicks that I've got in there in the shed are ready. They're just about ready to come out here and I need something to keep them safe. Are you going to take care of yourself or do I need to give you a little boost? No, no, not you this tarp. I don't have a little boost for you. Uh, we can pull this off though and consider step one complete. But let me talk to y'all about something, okay? I may have sometimes been slightly judgmental about the amount of things, things that my grandfather keeps and holds on to and I, hoards, if you will. Um, but I am finding myself more and more like that every time I do a project. I don't want to get rid of anything. Like this tarp has rips and holes all in it and I just keep telling myself all the things it could be useful for. But my problem is, is I don't have storage areas for all of the things. I'm just gonna fold it up somewhere and hide it. <laughs> It has actually proven to not be that hard. We are trying to keep the chickens from being, not from being, okay, I gotta cut that. We're not trying to keep the chickens from being free range chickens. We're just trying to keep them from being all day free range chickens because they don't want to lay their mother any eggs anymore. Oh, we are making it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are making it. Um, the roof, you know, the top is proving to be a little more difficult, but that's okay. Cause you know what's gonna, what's, what the worst part is gonna be is cleaning up all this and all the zip ties on the ground and all the zip ties on here because it's all got to go somewhere and I still don't know what I want to do with these because I really want to keep these two but where do you keep something like this what am I going to use it for all the wire is off the run and I'm going to go ahead and uh it looks like somebody has already kind of mowed over these oh my goodness well, I was going to go ahead and get all this out of here. I'm gonna have to get a shovel and dig them up. Good gravy. Well, the chickens can come find some bugs to eat over here. It'll drag without wanting to flip. 
my dad has decided that he can use this one for something and he's gonna take the tarp too, which makes me feel better. I might not have it in a stash house somewhere to use at a later date, but if my dad's gonna use it, that'll be okay. He is about to, uh, yeah, go around the other one now. Is it on there good? Maybe so. And then back up a little more. Hook it here. Huh. What do you think I've been doing? Oh, wait. I'm home. I'm just trying to... What do you think I've been doing out I'm here? just trying to help you. But you, you can't come in after the fact that I'm already doing something. Like, oh, yeah, do this, do this, when I've already got it done. So you had the same plan as me? You're so smart. <laughs> you was down there talking. <laughs> I'm giving you a gift. You gave that to me. Hold on. I had him back up so I could cross it and just make sure it was extra secure. All right, you ready? He's bad mouthing me about that too. Yeah, let, let's go. I have sent my dad with the metal piece the tarp. Here is. Yeah, I know. I know what it looks like. Sweet. All the bungees and one more and thing. And we're going to give them these stakes to hold that down. You remember that worst part of the project I talked about? Clean up. Well, this is the best part of that worst part. I get to drive the big boy tractor today. And it was kind of intimidating at first. So I'm happy to be getting the practice and I think I've got it down. I need this to all make it in one trip and I still have a bit more. And I cannot. I will not. Make a second trip. Come on, everything get in there. We're gonna make it. us into reverse we are going to start to dump well that piece made it in that's excellent oh no I might have smashed it in there too good so the problem with this is that this metal dumpster cannot be transported with anything sticking out over the top. I will have to go to the other side and try to smash again. I'm gonna back up just a hair. Try to. I think we're getting it pretty good. All right, let's go to the other side. Guys, I think this is where I'm going to be leaving us for today. I'm gonna pick up the trash lay boxes and a couple of other little trash items around here. But um, we are gonna have to get to work on this tomorrow. I still got feed time and things to attend to and dinner. To be completely straightforward, um, I was very frustrated. I was very stressed 
about having to do this project. I was very stressed the first time that I did this project um, as I wasn't really expecting to get chicks and then chickens when I did. <laughs> um, so I felt stressed again, but now that I have taken it down, now that I have started to tear it down and I can kind of make this into something I want more, something more sturdy, something more predator proof, something cuter, something my own, uh, my own little design. I'm really excited. Um, and I have such big ideas for over here and for inside the coop. And I can't get ahead of myself. I don't want to bite off more than I can chew all at the same time. But I'm very excited and I have plans. Stay tuned and find out. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.